Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be walking through the install and the benefits of fitting the ORE steering guard. Now naturally defenders are actually quite vulnerable underneath so you've got the steering arms and the steering dampeners that actually don't have much protection as standard. So I've chosen to fit the ORA steering guard to ensure that I've got maximum protection when I'm going off-road and I'm on trails. Now I actually have several other ORE products from the rear wheel carrier to the corner protectors and also the headlights were supplied by ORE too. So I'm really familiar with the great quality that those guys create. So I'm really excited to be fitting the steering guard today. So, first of all, let's get unboxing. Super important, so we've got the instructions. Cool, so looking at the instructions, it's a really simple fit. Pull off the old bolts really nice and easy, and just install uh, the steering guard itself so you can see that they We'll pull out the old shorter bolts and replace them with the longer ones and just be able to slot the steering guard straight in. So, good stuff. We've got our bolts ready to install some nice longer bolts so we can fit the guard nice and easy. And then the main event itself. Move all the bubble wrap out the way. We have, I think these are probably the brackets. Great, so yeah, we have the brackets that will mount to the actual uh, underneath of the car itself. And then the main event. Let's open this up. Nice. And then we have the guard itself. Great, there we go. There we have the ORE guard. So I'm gonna build up the guard first, putting on the uh, brackets on the left and right hand side before we mount it to the car. So I'm going to leave these bolts, bolts a little bit loose so when I slot it into place I've got a little bit of wiggle room uh, and a little bit of play so I can ensure that uh, it all lines up and fits correctly. Okay so the first thing we need to do is remove the original uh, tow hooks and these bolts are usually quite corroded so it'll take a bit of time to uh, get them out. I used a bit of WD-40 uh, penetrating oil I've managed to loosen them off so now it should just be finger tight to, to nip those off. And there we go. So you can see they're probably quite corroded. Um, so they take a little bit of time just to get off, especially as I had the car under sealed, it clogged up a lot of the nuts and, and the washers. So it took a little bit of time, but they're now off. So this is the bolt that uh, connects the steering guard or will connect the steering guard through to the chassis. Uh, this one's taken significant amount of time to uh, get out. It's obviously caked up with under seal, but also it's quite corroded. So I've had to heat that up with the blowtorch, get the, the metal really hot so it expands, and then I can uh, remove the bolt. That one was really corroded, but really difficult to get out this time, so 
uh, heated up the metal, uh, managed to get it out in the end, but yeah, took a little bit of work to get done. Using the long bolts now, we're gonna mount the guard up onto the chassis. So the long bolts will go, go through the chassis themselves, and then we'll use the bolts to pull the steering guard up to the correct angle. just show you um, what's going on underneath the car. The steering guard now has gone through, gone over the top of the steering uh, dampener and is now bolted down this side. And the same, if I just manoeuvre back around here, you'll be able to see uh, up here, it's come through too. So over the top of the steering dampener uh, and then into the chassis. So I'll tighten these all up now and then we should be good to uh, tighten the forward bolts up and uh, tweak the angle and then uh, tighten everything up and ensure that we've got a good fit. Okay, so now we've fitted the steering guard to the, to the chassis, to the back. We're now gonna pull the steering guard up forwards so it's at the correct angle and then we're gonna put the bolts through the guard and then again into the mounting point where the original uh, tow hooks would have been. Uh, so we'll just do that now. So there we go, guards pulled up into position and the bolts now gone through, through the chassis and then into the guard. And we'll do the same on the other side. There we go, what we can do now is go around and tighten everything up and tune everything so we've got the right angle uh, and then everything's nice and tight and ready to go. So there we go, we've fitted the ORE steering guard. Really excited about it, it looks great, really durable. Excited to get out and about and try it. So now the guard's all mounted and fitted, I wanted to give you just an overview of some of the great benefits that I get from the ORE steering guard. The first is their powder coating technology, which ensures that if you scrape or scratch the guard, the actual powder coating itself won't blister or peel like you would get on other products, ensuring the durability of the guard for many years to come. And the second is the inbuilt tow hooks. So again, adding more strength to the defender by ensuring the tow hooks are bolted through the steering guard and you don't have those rusty old uh, hooks that I used to have on the car. So I'm really excited to get out, explore this product even further, and I'll give a further review in time to come. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm a great advocate of the ORE products, so I hope you go and check those guys out. And if you enjoyed content like this, please be sure to subscribe and give the video a like for plenty more videos like this to come. Cheers and goodbye. <laughs>